Hey guys, this is Uwe Osman, president and founder of Extreme DI. It's finally time. Today I want to introduce to you our brand new second generation DI fuel pump, our XDI EVO. I want to show you all the details. I will show you how we test it, how we developed it, all the differences with data, charts, the whole nine yards. So this is an example of a whole mapping. In this case, it's our standard HPFP 35. And we did all our RPMs. We did 100 bar to 240 bar. And you see how the output in liters per hour increases with RPM, but it also decreases with pressure. So what that means is the higher pressure you run, the lower the output gets. And that's uh, an efficiency problem. So you just have to consider a high pressure fuel pump like an engine. It has a displacement, but it also has an efficiency and the efficiency goes down with pressure. So this is the same table, just thrown in a chart. Regular XDI HPFP 35, our old pump that we sell since 2017. And what you can see at the X axis down here, you see the pressure, the different curves are different RPM ranges, so the red curve is 2000 RPM, the green curve is 3000, the purple one is 4000, and the light green is 5000. And on the Y axis you see the actual flow in liters per hour. So what this chart tells you is that over pressure, the higher pressure you run, the less it flows. And that's normal for every DI pump. What our old pump did is that above 190 bar, 200 bar, it loses quite a bit. So that's why we kept saying 200 bar max, but better just 180. So this pump we have been selling since 2017. It's a great pump. We have broken multiple records. And so far people were running it up to 200 bar. But we're not resting there. We're trying to improve it. So we started looking at this area here where we go all the way to 240 bar, which hasn't been done before. Uh, our old pump couldn't handle that, so we changed that. And what we did, we came up with our new EVO pump, our second generation high pressure fuel pump. And that's how our EVO pump flows. So you can see that where the other pump starts uh, losing flow with higher pressures, the EVO pump keeps flowing all the way up to 240 bar. In a direct comparison, the darker green one is our, our old um, 35 pump. The light green one is our new EVO pump. And the big difference is everything above 200 bar, it just keeps flowing where the old pumps started to losing flow. Even in the lower areas, um, 100 bar, 130 bar, 150 bar, we're still gaining a little bit. So we have worked on the efficiency at higher pressures, but we also have worked on the overall efficiency. So this chart is the AB comparison from our old pump to our second generation EVO pump in actual liters an hour. And to show you a little bit what that really means, I came up with another chart. In this chart, what you see is the percentage gain from our new second generation EVO pump over our old 35 pump. And it's the same chart, same axis, just that it's percentage instead of liter an hour. And what you see is that the EVO pump on top of our first generation 35 pump all the way up to 180 bar gains around 5-6% in flow but above 180 bar going up to 240 bar we gain another 40% on top of what our 35 pump already gained over every production pump. This design is unique and it's the very first one ever in this market. The technology behind it is patent pending and we're going to roll this out to all our standard pumps, all our engines, everybody will be able to get it.